What is up, guys? My name is Players, and welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of the Abyss Fly. Alrighty, so today we are actually heading for an area we have not been to before. And hilariously enough, though it's supposed to be on the opposite side of the world, the closest place to it is the Absorption Gate. Regarding, I was actually looking at how stuff works in this game correctly. I then wish to head northbound. Because as I was kind of explaining at the end of the last episode, assuming I, uh, let's see, where are we right now? Maybe I was wrong. Oh, no, we blew past it already. As I was explaining at the end of the last episode, the world map actually assumes the world is flat as opposed to being a sphere, like the game actually shows Aldrin to be. So you just go to the top of the map and you wrap right around back to the bottom. Damn it, they're trying to stop us from closing the gate. I'll force our way through. Right. Radiation Gate. About time we've come here. The final passage ring, hey? My head is going in circles from all that looping and swerving. Hang in there, Mew. That was some amazing flying, Noel. We owe you. No, I think my brother could have done it better. I'm still so new. No way! Don't say that! We never could have made it by ourselves. Enemies may attack from Eldrant. If it looks dangerous, get out of here. Thank you. Please be careful. Well, where am I headed? I assume to the left because that's the way I was facing. This place looks cool. Like, look, this is like, like something spine just coming out of the floor. It's kind of freaky, actually. Where am I going? That, that's to the field, because that's to get back on the Albior. Am I going to the left? Did I just not see where I needed to go? Do I need to actually... Yeah, that makes sense. We have to follow the spine! Maybe it's the... Maybe it's Aldrin's spine. Maybe that's why we have to climb it. Uh, 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 okay, we're good. Jade, that was completely unnecessary, but I always love seeing Mystic Cage. <laughs> Ooh, I just looked ahead in the side quest guide. Ooh, okay, so there's multiple paths going on here. I just looked ahead in the side quest guide because I just pushed my eyes over for some reason because I do that. I'm going to be able to do another Catalyst Weapon quest soon, and that excites me. Oh, for a moment I thought there was going to be a scene in here for some reason. A red saffron. Because I can't go down there, which would make sense. Because I don't really, you know, stop and things. This increases agility by three. Um, I think I'm actually going to give it to Luke. Normally I would give those to, to Guy because I like to keep my agility... My ag agile party member completely agile. Let's do a sandwich for some reason. Okay. Can I go one you oh I can go farther down. Jeez, okay. So are there not gonna be any puzzles for me because you know Ash would have had to do them in order to get down? Ooh, Star Rod. New equipment for tier. In fact, that's better for tier. I can give uh, Schwarzvogel to Anis then. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, sure, we can bring you back into the party, Anis. As helpful as it was having recover from Natalia. Oh, almost got attacked there. Didn't look like there was anything there. Wait, is it that easy to get through the radiation gate? Then we're about to hit some story then, right? This is a passage ring, right? So there was one here, too. Of course. We had planned to come here, you know. 
This is where Ash helped us. Yeah. Seems like I can't do anything without his help. Of course. Huh? The two of you managed to lower all of the Outer Lands together. Ash might not have been able to do it by himself either. Yeah, a single person doesn't really have much power. But a single person can easily destroy a country. Colonel! Both are true. There are two sides to the power people hold. That power cannot be used properly until one recognizes them both. Yeah, I know what you mean. My power is just like that. You know both the horror and importance of power. Don't fear it, but don't let it go to your head. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, let's move along here before that enemy decides to punch me or something. I mean, we don't have to do anything with this passage ring, luckily. That would be horrible because then Tyr would t take incontaminated phonons. Ooh, an Elder Cloak. And a Cobalt Chamber. I haven't messed with phone slot chambers in a while. How, who, what, what have I stacked up? Actually, not much. We've got three yellows, one green, and one blue now. Um, Anis just got new equipment, though. Yeah, plus five on the defenses, so not too much of a boost. Those chests... Uh, taunted us though in the cutscene when we saw Ash was here while we were lowering the Outer Lands. That's how I knew we would come here because I saw the tre treasure chests. Knew it was going to happen eventually, whether it was a bonus dungeon or not. Although I feel like this is, isn't a game that would necessarily have bonus dungeons, the point is still there. What's that? Is something coming? I've got a bad feeling here. Let's hurry up and get this done. The way it loaded that cutscene was rather awkward. It scared me for a moment, actually, because I thought the game froze because the audio was playing just fine. Save point here. There's obviously a boss fight coming up. I have a feeling... Probably sink. That feels... Right to me. That we would fight sink here. Alright, let's head down. I'm about as ready as I will ever be. Um... I know I just added. Uh, let's okay. Let's swap Jade out. Jade's been doing a lot of fighting lately. I want to have Natalia in the party just as a second healer, just in case. It's that sound again. Damn it! Is it an enemy? We've got to get this gate closed fast. Hurry! Hurry! We're not gonna make it in time. Up there, Moe's. Even he doesn't deserve this. Oh, we're gonna use this as a as a battle theme. That's kind of cool, actually. So, gigant, uh, gigant, gigant. I don't know. Moes. Oh, we don't have any. Any quips to say to him, so... Um, do I have... Yes, I still got some. I'll have to buy some soon. Resist dark, weak to light? Oh, dude. I know exactly what's gotta be done here. I... This is okay, actually. Um... I've got this all set up perfectly. So... 
Let's see here. Holy Lance is up. Let's make... Let's do... How do I want to do this? Um, Anis, I want you... You've got limited, but do you have anything else that's light? I think she's just got limited. All right, then we'll set limited. We've got Holy Lance from tier. And then, so left and up for attacks. Natalia, I'm going to set you to recover. No. Cure. Cure is on right, revitalizes on the bottom if we just happen to need to heal everybody. Otherwise, Natalia having cure should be good enough. Otherwise, yeah, Natalia can do whatever she wants. Um, so left and up is what I need to do. Uh, let's see, Devil's Inferno. I think I'm good on pretty much everything here. I don't think there's anything that I necessarily want. We did get Swallow, Spear Swallow Fury, and I haven't used it yet. You know what? We'll set it just because. I don't think there's anything else. Nah. Okay. Ooh, okay, that's actually really cool. That'll help. No, no, use it. There we go. I want to be on the other side of them. Ooh, and Shadow Fury. Nice. Okay, so I have that too. This should actually, yeah, this is going over very well. We go. Everybody level up. Luke is a 58. Tyr is a 57. Natalia is a 57. Annis is a 56. Guy is a 57. And Jade is a 57. Mose clung to the score to the very end. Even after becoming a monster, it was all about the score. He truly believed that as long as we had Yulia's score, the world would be saved. He was trying to save the world in his own way. That was what protecting the score meant to him. Let's go to Eldrand. Luke. If Master Van completes his replica world, this will all have been for nothing. Let's prove that Moe's way was wrong. No. Let's stop Master Van and free Lorelei, so we can build our own future. If we're going to Eldrant, we'll have to pass through their anti-aircraft fire. Let's look into the matter at the military headquarters in Grand Kokma. Right. Good idea. The Grand Maestro. Grand Maestro Moe's, please forgive me. Tear. I'm being silly, aren't I? I know that Moe's let many die in order to fulfill the score. But that's just the way the Order of Lorelei was until now. Yeah, all this stuff recently has really shaken the Order. But if Moe's had been Grand Maestro in the past... History might have seen him as an admirable clergyman. Clergyman, rather. Yes, I can't forgive him, but it's hard to hate him, too. All of us in the Oracle Knights are equally at fault. Please tell me that this, uh... 
This memory circle has glowy bits. I have to actually run out of here? Uh, I mean, it's not long. It was literally a one, one straight away. So I guess that's better than nothing. I mean, I guess, yeah, for this being... Oh, come on. Okay, so Swallow Fury's animation is really cool when I can get it off right. Let me do that again. Cool. Anis learned Surge Breaker. Okay, so that, that Surge Breaker move or whatever the hell it's called that I've been using. Swallow Fury, rather. Surge Breaker's what um, Anis just learned, right? That's equipment. Look at her arts. Right, Surge Breaker? Yeah, that's what she just learned. Arcane Art of the Electric. Or whatever the... It's not Earth. Earth is the rocks. So I think electric is actually correct. Okay, that was dangerous. <laughs> no, Swallow Fury is really cool when you do the full animation. Or when you, at least when you can see the full animation anyway. All right, let's get our asses out of here because we don't need to be here anymore. All righty. To the last battle. We stopped the planet storm. Now we just have to get to Eldrant. Yes, once there, we'll free Lorelei and stop Eldrant from replicating the land. At last, this will be our final major battle. Yeah, we will save our original world. Or will Van's new world be born? We will not let Van have his way. We are not simply entering Eldrant alone. We carry the future of the people of Kimlaska, Malkuth, and Doth with us. Yeah, we can't turn back now. Your Grand Kokma! Grand Kokma is so far down the list. Let's go talk to Peony. I think that's where we're going, right? Making assumptions. Oh, look at that. Warps is right there. We've been waiting. With the planet storm gone, Eldrin has lost its armor. The Kimlaskan and Malkuth allied forces began preparations for deployment the moment the planet storm stopped. All to support you. Thank you. But Eldrin still has strong anti-aircraft cannons. If we can't get past those... Hmm. Eldrin's anti-air fire takes approximately 15 seconds to reload between barrages. We could use that time to predict the next attack and get close. My brother could do it, but... Shall we find Ash and have Ginji take your place? No. Please allow me to do it. I'm the pilot of the Albior 2. I've had the same training as my brother. It's all right. I'll do it. We're counting on you. Sounds like that settles it then. So, this is it. Are you all really okay with going to Eldred? Natalia, you're the successor to the throne of Kimlaska. Jade, you have your military post defending Malkuth. What are you saying after everything that's happened? I can't leave after coming this far. I have to make my brother, make Van take responsibility. If Ion were here, he'd tell me to see everything through to the end. When I met my sister's replica, I realized, as a citizen of Hod myself, I can't allow the dead to be raised in such a manner. I'm under orders from His Majesty. And besides, you need a captain when deploying soldiers. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys. Chief of Staff Sesame, can we request support fire during the assault? We'll neutralize the anti-aircraft fire from inside Eldrant and head directly to Van. Very well. 
but eliminating Van takes priority. Even with the anti-aircraft fire neutralized, we have no means of flying. Understood. All right. All that's left is to find Ash and complete the key of Lorelei. The Allied force will await your arrival in Kessedonia. We're all counting on you. So to Kessedonia next, huh? Well, at this point, we open up a number of side quests again. It's always great when we open up side quests. In fact, I have a feeling we are going to be doing quite the number of side quests, in fact. Looks like we are going to be returning to the Radiation Gate already. Ha ha ha. So, um, yeah, this is it. If you ask me, it's kind of dumb that, um, the game requires you to see the scene we just saw in order to do this side quest in the Radiation Gate. So, I'll meet you guys back there. Look, cutscene. The planet storm has stopped. Oh, good. We were just about to go tell you. No, I could tell immediately. That's why I came to you. Why are you giving me this? I told you before. You're the original. You're the only one who can free Lorelei. The rest of us will do everything in our power to get you to Master Van. Then you'll free Lorelei. Bastard. What? You stupid bastard! Who asked you to do that? What are you mad about? Are you saying you won't come with us to stop Master Van? Is me being a replica really that... Shut up and stop calling him Master. I've been telling him that for this entire segment of the game. Ash, and even now you're still saying you're going to stop him? Ash is really, really, really picky about this whole stopping him thing. Ash is really specific on the whole killing him thing. What can you possibly accomplish? You're so naive, it's disgusting. He is honestly trying to make a replica world. He believes it's the right thing to do. He has faith in it. I was a fool. I thought perhaps, even though you're a replica, if we work together, you might be useful in helping to kill him. To be fair, we thought we killed him. You know, like, when everything comes to, like, a point, comes to a T or whatever, we thought we killed him. Like, a drop into the core should have killed him. You're me. How can you just accept calling yourself inferior? We're the same. Why don't you try to fight and prove who you are? Why can't you say you're superior? Why do you insist on putting yourself down? It's not like that. I'm not you. This, this, this like just turned into persona. Like now we're gonna have to do a boss fight here and it's gonna say Shadow Luke instead of Ash. <laughs> uh, what? I am your replica, but I'm different from you. My thoughts, my memories, the way I live. Shut up! You're an inferior defective replica! I refuse to accept you! Oh, now it's gonna turn into a boss fight where we're Shadow Luke and he's, he's just, or Shadow Ash, maybe. Whether you accept me or not doesn't matter. I'm not part of you, or a substitute. Ash! What are you doing? How amusing. In that case, let's make it clear. Clear that you're nothing more than a copy. Ash, I have no intention of fighting you. Shut up! Are you going to run away after all that babbling? You are your own self, right? Prove it! If you don't, I'll refuse to acknowledge you. I'll refuse to accept you. Ash, stop! You're making no sense. Shut up! To be honest, yeah, Ash is kind of going in circles and said shut up like four or five times just now. Ash! Hey, don't take it out on Natalia. I... I am Van's student. Only me! You're just an imposter. 
Ash! How can you say such a thing? I respected him. I wanted to believe in his ideal of rejecting the score. I knew he just wanted to use my hyper resonance, but I didn't mind. If only he hadn't said anything about that idiotic idea of replacing everyone with replicas, I would have wanted to stay his student. Ash, come to Eldrant. Defeating the master is the role of the student. We'll settle who the real student is there. I'm jealous. Master Van accepted and acknowledged him from the beginning. I wanted Master to acknowledge me too. I wanted to be his student. Well, damn. They just can't get along. Ash, why can't we cooperate? Is fighting the only way for us to accept each other? I've already accepted you, no matter what you say. You can't deny the fact that I'm here. I'm alive. For now. Alright, now to the radiation gate. Except for another skit first. Luke and Ash, part two. After all this time, they're suddenly in opposite positions. After all this time? Yeah, Ash is the same as always. I guess Luke's the one who changed. Yes, he saw death with his own eyes and he grew up. But Ash doesn't realize that, and he's anger that his replica puppet has started thinking for itself. No, I think Ash does realize it. He just doesn't want to acknowledge that the puppet that took everything from him has become independent. Judging from his anger, that's probably the case, though it could be worse. If he had simply ignored Luke and left, there would have been no hope. Now it's Ash's turn to become independent. Yes, to free himself from feeling victimized by a replica that pushed him into the shadows. That's actually a crazy way to put it, holy crap! Hey, Colonel, is is this a forbidden verse stone? So it would seem. The Sword of Judgment is the wedge in the tides of the Southern Sea. So this place is the wedge of the Southern Sea, huh? Whatever the case, at least we found another stone. A new phone verse has appeared on the scroll. It's Prism Sword. Ah, the seal's broken, huh? This is an interesting sounding phonic art. I'll try it as soon as I get a chance. We'll be looking forward to it. Jade has learned Prism Sword. And that's all we came back here for. Rockin'. Our next stop is here in Doth. Uh, first thing we want to do is head on up to the cathedral. And uh, we're going to go see a new friend that we recently made. And Anis named. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> Oliver, over here. Wait, Florian, that belongs to Ion. Florian is wearing Ion's clothes? What else did he take that's of Ion's? Papa, what are you doing? Oh, we were just sorting out Phone Master Ion's belongings. And then Florian suddenly grabbed one of them and ran off. So you're chasing him? Anis, let's play tag. You're it. Florian, we don't have time for that right now. Well, there's nothing wrong with taking a break every now and then. You must have a reason for saying that. 
So, let's play a little game of tag. Or would it be hide and seek? All right. I didn't spend my whole life stuck in a manor for nothing. You're so mine. Wow. So, um... <laughs> Thanks to cheating because I have a side quest guide, I know exactly where I need to go. Just wanted to make sure I was going to take the right one there. Hey there! Found you! <laughs> that was fun! Could this be a planetary art catalyst? Here you are! I was looking for you, Florian. Mama, was this staff Ions? What? Yes, it was. Well, actually, it belonged to his predecessor, Evanos. Oh, yeah. Evanos was trying to resurrect the planetary art, wasn't he? Then it would make sense for him to have one of the catalysts. Mama, can we borrow this? That's not something I can decide, Annas. Let's ask Tritheim about it. Florian, let's go back to our room, okay? Okay, Annas, let's play again sometime. Loading screen. A catalyst for the planetary phonic art in Phone Master Evanos's belongings? Would it be possible to borrow it? Very well. I'll permit it, but please be certain to return it once everything is finished. Sure thing, Trithium. I told you my name is Tritime. The Heart of Chaos. Totally expecting this to be Anis's. Yep, I was right. <laughs> a magic staff with the power of the first phonon, said to be a catalyst for phonic arts. Nice. Very nice. Alright, so while we are still here in Doth, let's see here. It should happen right away, actually, I think. Yeah. Annis, Annis, help me. W what is it? What's wrong, Florian? We need someone to play the role of the mischievous demon. Otherwise, we can't do anything at all. The mischievous demon? If they're looking for a demon, we've got one with us. Did you say something? N no nothing. Florian. Oh my, Annis, you've come at a perfect time. What is it, Mama? Well, we're putting on a play for orphan children. But the person who was going to play the greedy, mischievous demon got sick. My, that sounds like the perfect role for Annis. Colonel, don't you think that's really rude? Annis, I'm playing the role of the first phone master. I make the mischievous demon into a good person. Come on, let's do it together. Ugh, I can't say no to that smile. Annis, come on, do it for them. Oh, all right. Ahahaha! <laughs> I'm the mischievous demon. I'm taking all your favorite candy. It's not right to do things like that. Who are you? These candies are all mine. Change candy to money and that's totally Annis. Y you think so? Perhaps so. If she eats that much candy, she's going to become overweight. Honestly, that Annis. You really are out of it sometimes, Natalia. My, did I say something strange? Hmm, it looks like it's about to end. Mischievous demon, why did you protect me? 
because you were my first friend. You can have my candy. If only I had shared, with, shared the candy with everyone to begin with. Oh, stars above, Lorelei, please save this mischievous demon. No, that cannot do, but I shall give this child new life. <laughs> I'm a Cheagle! This is how the mischievous demon became a Cheagle! And became the sacred beast of the Order of Lorelei! We turned Annis into Mew! Annis, you were great at that role! For some reason, that doesn't make me happy. And Mew got all the applause in the end! Aw, shucks! But I was happy when you protected me. That was just part of the story. But I was happy. <laughs> oh well. Annis has received the Little Devil title. You know what that means. Costume time! There it is. I found it. No, no, party display. There we go. We are the Little Devil. I've actually been waiting for this costume because um, it's been featured in the credit sequences of a number of episodes of the anime up to this point already. And I've been like, oh, that must be a costume for Annis. And then I saw it and I'm like, it's that costume. Um, oh, actually, 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 before we leave the cathedral, there is one more thing we can do here in the cathedral. We want to head up on, into Ion's chambers, where um, we'll see a familiar face who isn't Ion, and who's been the subject of the past two side quests slash scenes that we've seen. Uh, scenes that we've seen. English is weird. You ever think about that? How weird English is? Cause like. Scene, as in like a cutscene, is S C E N E. But like to have seen something is S E E N. They sound the same, they're spelled different, and they mean completely different things. Now, if we actually head into Ion's room, we should see Florian. Hey, how's it going? Annis, welcome back. Hi, how you been? Okay. Hmm? You sound, sound kind of down. Everyone besides you all looks at me strangely. It makes me scared. I see. Annis, don't you think you should stay with Florian for a while? No, I can't. We have things we have to do for Florian's sake, too. Uh, well, yeah, but... Annis, are you leaving again? Yeah, I still have work to do. But how about we eat dinner together today, then sleep together? Sleep together? Luke, you're thinking something weird, aren't you? I meant all of us together! <laughs> Luke's like, that doesn't make it better. Today we'll all be together. Yeah, and I'll make dinner. I'll try something I've never made before. That sounds like a terrible idea. What do you want to eat, Florian? I want to eat stew. I saw it in a book I found in the library. It looks good. Oh, we are doing not the quest that I thought we were doing. It actually let us do that quest? Hmm, hmm, gotcha. Just leave it to Annis. Do we have the all-purpose knife? This is the, this is the quest I skipped because we didn't have an all-purpose knife on us and I was too lazy to go back to Ketterberg. Okay, that is not what I meant to do. Papa, Mama, take care of Florian for me. We will. You be careful now, Annis. And the rest of you, too. We will. Take care, Annis. See you soon. And it kicked us outside. We have to run back up to Ion's room now. Let's try this again. <laughs> Hey, Florian, what's that you're holding? That's a Forbidden Verse stone. Mose gave it to me. Mose? 
I found it in the room that we were locked in for a really long time. When I left, I asked Mose if I could have it, and he said yes. Oh. I can't ask him to give it up after hearing that. Let's give up on this one. We can't force Florian to give up his memories. Colonel, thanks. You want this rock? No, it's okay, Florian. But if you really want it, it's okay with me. Florian, you don't have to force yourself. No, you come to play with me, so I want to give it to you. Alright, thank you very much. Sure. Well, it's time for my lessons now. See you later. Now then. Heaven's wrath doth fall upon the land of the children of divinity. So it really was a forbidden verse stone. Yes, I must say, that was very nice the way you treated Florian, Colonel. I guess even the necromancer can't bring himself to pick on an innocent kid, or innocent child. Kid, child, same word. Oh, it was precisely because of his innocence that I expected him to give me the stone unquestionably if I spoke like that. You're horrible. God damn it, Jade. <laughs> All right, one more thing here in Doth. And then um on to the next place. All right, so we want to make our way towards the um the warp to Mount Saleo. Because uh, there's something we can do in the library back there. He 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 he. Sneaky sneaky. I forgot how long this hallway was. In this library, there should be this person? Hey you. Is that an Albert style arcane art text? Yes it is. A believer donated it for the purpose of aiding the rebuilding of the order. Does that mean you're going to sell it? Yes, we'll put it up for auction. Well, wait a minute, then give it to me. But... I'm Cantor Tatlin, Ionian Sergeant and Phone Master Guardian. That man was very close to Phone Master Ion. We aren't asking for it for free, please. Anis. Alright, but this text is intended to provide funds for operation of the order. I would like to charge a premium for it. R right, how much? 150,000 gold. Don't you think it's about time you told her the truth? But if I do that, the maid will get fired. That's certainly possible, but... Luke, to be honest, I'm not sure how I feel about that kind of... That type of kindness. Shut up, would you? It's my business. And now we have to run all the way back. Because guess what? We have to go talk to mom and get some money. Even though I clearly have enough money. Yeah. My Luke, what brings you here today? Are you going to do something? Um, well... I don't need any soul... I don't need any shoulder massages or cooking today. How about cleaning the manor? If you wish, mother. <laughs> I'm joking, Luke. Come here, Maki. F forgive me, Master Luke. I heard from Maki that you've been buying back the books that she accidentally disposed of. Uh... I had thought it was strange for you to volunteer like that. Mother, I... I'm sorry. It's alright, I'm happy to see the kindness you display towards Maki. But Luke, I'd like you to trust me a little more. I'm sorry, I thought she'd be fired if Father found out. Don't worry, I'll keep this secret deep in my heart. Now, if you're here, that must mean you found the last book. How much is it? 150,000 gold. My, alright. Take this and go buy it back. And from now on, don't keep secrets from your mother, alright? Yes, mother. Well, um... No, 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 not you. Master Luke, I'm terribly sorry, but you're cute, so we're, we're okay. <laughs> Duke Fabra won't know about it because you're adorable. 
<laughs> That's my reasoning. Sticking with it. Hi, Aramdus. Oh god, there's a there's a thing here. Actually, this might be Yeah, actually. Huh. Okay, this is Master Chefs. I could have done this just after doing the one we just did with Florian not that long ago, earlier in this episode. Oh dear, what to do? What's wrong? Oh, hello, young master. One of his grace's friends will be arriving for a visit shortly, but our chef is sick and it doesn't appear he will be able to prepare the meal. Oh. I was hoping to hear more, more than oh. Is there any chance you could do something, young master? Something, huh? <laughs> Who will be the chef? Uh, I recommend using Anis. Let's do Anis. Because, um... Huh, that's interesting, actually. If you want to get, the t get a title for Anis later on, choose her here. If you don't choose her, you will be unable to complete part 19 of this quest. That seems kind of broken. We'll pick her, but I don't think we'll actually be doing part 19 because I haven't been getting all of the recipes. Anis will cook. Hehehe. <laughs> the time has come to test whether Chef Anis's cooking stills, cooking stills, cooking skills are truly worthy of the upper class palate. Um, Natalia and I are both upper class too, you know. You two don't seem to care about food very much, though. One of you is really picky about what he'll eat. Well, excuse me. Anyway, Rami, to the kitchen. Rami. <laughs> oh, this is the guy that was at Ketterberg. Welcome to my humble home, dear Bernal. I'm afraid our kitchen will have little to offer a man touted as the era's finest culinary genius. I hope you'll forgive me. Hmm, a worthy opponent. Oh no, don't concern yourself with that. No matter who makes the food, it's always a pleasure to indulge in such warm hospitality. Come, let us eat. This is marvelous! I'd love to meet the cook and while away the evening talking about the culinary arts. Bernal is, was extremely pleased. It was a grand success! <laughs> that jump animation, though. <laughs> Anna's just performed a jump cancel, guys. I, it doesn't seem to help me at all, though. <laughs> I did it! He left the, this recipe for you in hopes that you would someday master it as well. Learn the miso stew recipe. He said someday when you've mastered the art of cooking, he'd like to meet you in one of Ketterberg's restaurants to discuss the finer points of cuisine. Roger, you can count on Chef Annis. Huh. Neat. Um, on the subject of cooking, though, so stew... Restores a moderate amount of HP and TP, and we have all the ingredients in stock for it. We also have, ooh, temporarily increases ability in battle. What does that mean? Okay, so I'm going to set up my shortcuts here because, like, a small amount of HP and TP. Psh. Natalia, we're, we're going to get you working on stew. What's that? A small amount of HP and TP? Guy, we're going to teach you how to make miso stew. Large amount of TP can stay, and a moderate amount of HP, sure. Sure, it can stay. I'm going to put that on Anis, though. I'm actually running out of ingredients for that. Huh. All right. So, um... Huh. <laughs> I'm not going to go and master all 20... Or, yeah, all 20 recipes for this, this stupid quest. I'm not going to do that. So, um, let's return to Doth and buy that arcane art text. Because I did not expect to actually trigger that scene just now. This game is confusing sometimes. We have returned with the money! Talk to her. There we go.
Yep, 150. There's a typo. They forgot a zero. Ha <laughs> ha! That's hilarious. See, that's just that's just a matter of we retyped the dialogue instead of just editing what was already in existence. That's funny. Luke has learned Sonic Blast. Fine, you finally got all the arcane arts. You should be grateful to your mother. Yeah, thanks, mother. All that just to have to run all the way back out now. Um. Where is it? Sonic Blast. Rapid thrusts create powerful wind blasts that send the enemy flying. Sure. In fact, I could probably I could use Sonic Blast to make uh, Field of Phonons appear and then spam Light Spear Cannon through it. Cool. Uh, okay. So, that is that. Our next stop now is Yulia City, actually. Okay, so in Yulia City, um, what does this say again? Uh, over here? Actually, is it this thing? Looks like it is. That rock turned towards me when I examined it. Are you interested in this stone? Yes, it's... After the Outerlands came down, the land outside Yulia City solidified. This was stuck in it. I see. Actually, we need this stone to decipher the ancient scroll we have. Could we ask you to give it to us? Please? You are our saviors for having transformed the cliff off. Please, take it. Thank you. Upon the island of spiritual mystery, bow down before heaven's power. We couldn't have gotten this stone without lowering the outer lands. I'm glad we found it. Alrighty. Took a while for that thing to disappear. That's all we came to Yulia City for, so, um... On to Belkind. So, inside Phone Machine Lab 1, we need to head north and then west. And, uh, we can find Spinoza, and we'll get a scene with him. And we head up, and then we head left. North and then west. It's simple, you know. It's easy -e -e, most of the time. Spinoza should be in here and we can get a scene with him. Excuse me, I'd like to talk with you about your research. Dr. Balfour, this is a surprise. Yes, I'm sorry to trouble you. The rest of you, please wait outside. I think it may take some, this may take some time. Yeah, we wouldn't understand it anyway. This probably happened before you started helping us, but did Ash come here to talk to you? Most, uh, mostly likely. Oh, okay, yeah, that doesn't make sense in the, uh, okay. Mostly likely to ask about the, uh, I'm gonna say most likely and just assume that's a typo. Most likely to ask about the experiments Dis was performing in Orshan Cavern. Yes, he did. It seems he learned at Coral Castle that he and Luke were not merely isophones. But perfect isophones. And thus he wondered if the Cheagles in Orshan Cavern were perfect isophones, just like him. Yes, and he was correct. Based on your theories, Dr. Nice crea created, the accident, or created the accident that occurred when Luke was made. He managed to succeed in creating a perfect isophone, but after that, the phone machinery broke. And that recreation data was lost. Did Ash talk about the toll on the original when a perfect isophone is, bo is born? Yes. Then did you explain the gradual emission effect caused by phonon separation? A technical explanation would be beyond a layman, so I just told him, I just told them that his physical and pho phonic strength would gradually decrease as he approached the time of the Big Bang. That may have led him to misunderstand. Misunderstand? Nothing. I've just finally realized the reason behind his reckless behavior, though I imagine it's already too late. Oh. Finished already? Luke, in all the research I've performed, I've pretty much never been wrong. What the... are you bragging? Hmm, perhaps. But this time I do hope that the answer I've pr produced is incorrect. Um, okay. 
You have a habit of doing things beyond what I predict, so just maybe. Well then. That was quite the scene. Actually, no, that completely explains most of Luke's, or most of Ash's, um, behavior throughout the second, second, throughout the second half of the game, let's say. Now we're going to enter a place I bet you guys didn't expect we'd return to. The Fubrous River. That monster. What is it? It had what looked like a forbidden birthstone in its mouth. My, let us pursue it at once. This is it. Uncountable are the stars that doth shake the surface of the shallow river. I'm surprised you were able to notice a small stone like that. Heaven smiles upon me because of my good deeds. That can't, <laughs> that can't possibly be true. The letters on the scroll have vanished. A forbidden verse has been unsealed. This is Meteor Storm. What kind of phonic art is it? We'll see when I use it. It's a very powerful art. Ah, I can't wait to see it. Jade has learned Meteor Storm. We finally obtained all the hit. Oh, the bad, the bad, We finally obtained all the forbidden verses. Meaning we can expect even more from the, the from the Colonel's phonic. I think that was supposed to be phonic arts. Proofreading, guys, come on, gotta do a little bit better with your proofreading. But I also wonder if we'll be able to keep him under control if he co keeps growing stronger. Indeed. Yeah, the Colonel's a menace to begin with. My my, don't hide your feelings now. Well, anyway, we'll be expecting good things from you, so show us what you can do. Yeah. And that's all we came here for. Time to run our asses back out of- Why did it put us all the way down here? I mean, I know why, but I don't understand why. You bastard! Too easy. And in fact, that is going to be it for the side quests that we have to do at this point. With that all said and done, we can finally make our way over to Casedonia to meet up you know, rendezvous with the, uh, with the, uh, the, the troops that are going to help us out. I forgot the word that I was trying to think of. Do, 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 do. However, we will not be entering Casedonia just yet. Can I? There we go. No, no, I would like to exit my, exit the Albior, please. There we go. Annis, the charming devil. Oh, what a beautiful victory for little devil Annis. But Annis, don't those clothes get in the way during battle? Tokunaga does all the fighting. Well, I suppose that's true. Hmm? Do you want to dress up cute for battle too, Tyr? Huh? N no, it's just, you know, polite to your opponent to... Uh, Oh, it's just polite to your battle to- okay. I- I got- I got what she was trying to say. Aw, you're so cute when you're embarrassed. Annis is right. Tyr is adorable when she's embarrassed. But with that all said and done, next time on Let's Play Tales of Symphonia. Tales of Symphonia. Why? But with that all said and done, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this episode. If you liked it, make sure you leave a like down below the video, dislike if you thought it sucked, leave a comment if you feel so obligated to do so, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and until the next one guys, my name is Flares, and I'll see you guys right back here for the next episode of Let's Play Tales of the Abyss, fly!